and welcome. I am Civilian, bringing you some Crusader Kings 2. Um, you may notice that things are a little bit different. We've been reset. That's because we, we didn't... It's All the things I said before will probably still hold true. It's just that uh, I, I forgot to set up the settings how I wanted them uh, for the game. And you can't change that once the game started and keep your Iron Man. And we're doing this Iron Man for the achievement. So uh, we started over, but we did only play a month before. So I'm just quickly... We're just going to redo the things that we have done. We're going to make our son struggle, obviously. Uh, we need to get married again. It's okay, we're bringing it back. We're just gonna find ourselves a lady. We can even marry Vigdis again. Perfect, yes, you should marry me. Now our stats are a little different this time. We're humble, trusting, cruel, deceitful, and a skilled tactician, which is nice. Um, so we're gonna take hunting focus. Yeah, so I, ju I just had to, these things get a little bit randomized for most of the characters. And uh, I did need to change the settings, but it's okay. We're good to go now. And uh, let's continue the pattern from last time by immediately declaring war, even sooner than we declared it last time. So who have we got here? I think this time we'll go for Jambra land because they have got a tiny little tiny baby army. And we have got a beefy army, which I will lead personally as we go to war. There we go. Now this is how you do it. You declare war before you even start moving. Now we're going to take a look, see if we can find any ladies to be our concubines. Uh, ge genius. Uh, uh, money. Geni- yeah. Genius. Nope. Anyone that's strong? No. It would help if I spelt it right, wouldn't it? Nope. Okay, so we're just going to take a little poke around, see if there's anyone we want to take as our concubine. Whoa! She would be great leading an army. Unfortunately, as a woman, she is not allowed to lead an army. Unless, I think we can do shield maidens. Um, don't know if I have that as an option right now. Precisely. Okay, you know what? I think we're good. We've got our wife. We have a beautiful wife. How many children do we need? Possibly a lot. It depends if the children are any good. Uh... <laughs> But for now, we don't need a ton of children, right? We're crossing a river, which is bad, but um, we should be fine. We should be. I'm not too worried about the river crossing thing because our army is like twice the size of theirs. Not quite twice the size of theirs, but close. Uh, so that should be good enough. So we'll just take this super quick. And if we can do it without losing too much money, then we can declare another war straight away because money is going to be the real limiting factor. What I should probably do is build the market village. It's going to cost some money, leaving us with 10, that's not a lot. However, um, it is gonna give us more income, which is quite important. Ooh, how's this going? This is good. We're riding them down, riding them down, murder them. Uh, and now we'll just siege this. I think we're fine. We could chase their army, but we're not going to. That was the, the main, <laughs> that was the main setting I needed to change, was shattered retreat. Uh, so let's see what we think of this this slightly different Thorfinn as a character. Deceitful yet trusting is an interesting combination. Um, it's something like, you know, we uh, we are deceitful, but we couldn't imagine that anyone else would be as terrible as us. Ooh, what's this war? This war, defending in against the Swedish East... Ooh, dear, this could be... Is that Svithjord? That is... Right, this could be quite bad if, if Sweden win, which I think they will. Um, it looks like they're winning. That's a... Oh, they're going to have a lot of troops when all of this is said and done. This could be very bad for me very quickly. Oh, dear. Um, fortunately, they should only... Oh, no, he wants to become king of Sweden. Oh, no. I was going to say he might not be that ambitious and he might not be able to... Right, I think we might be a vassal for a while. I think that might be how this goes, but we can grab as much land as possible before we do that. So let's get on that. Um, let's get this siege down real quick and then do another war straight away. Uh, we'll go for Hulsingland, maybe. If we go for Metal Pad, we could get two, but they've now they have too many troops. Um, we could probably take Hulsingland. So I think we'll go for Hulsingland next. Um, is there anyone big we can take out? No, that's a thousand troops. Uh, kind of the whole point of them being big is that they're hard to siege. Hide mark maybe. We might maybe be able to. Oh, Vestigortland got big. Um, if enough people get big for us to dismantle Svithjord, maybe I think they they should make friends. Uh, we're still trying to make friends with Jarland, the same as last time. Uh, they're pretty good. Ah, war one, good. Finish the war. 
Yay! Amazing! So, quick wall. Quick wall. Okay, quick hustle. Right, next. We need another wall. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm really scared about this whole wanting to become King of Sweden thing, because I want to be King of Sweden. And that's going to be very difficult. That's going to be profoundly difficult if Svithjord is the King of Sweden and I'm just some random count underneath Svithjord. So, for now, uh, I think... How many troops do I have? 621. So this this is a safe fight. Um, and how should we do this? Border dispute? No. We should do subjugation. Yeah. So we can do it once in our lifetime unless we want to become king. So we were going to be safe from Svithjord except for the fact that they want to become king. This is very, very... This is a very dangerous... I might not make it far. Um, but we're going to do our best. We're going to immediately start subjugating Helsingland. Uh, let's see, and we're just gonna march our troops on up there, and we ourselves are gonna lead them, of course, because we are mighty. Uh, f they are moving, they're moving to meet us, so we might be able to meet them somewhere in the middle here. Let's up the speed. Let's go fast! God, go fast, fast, fast. So they're heading to Upland. It looks like they're gonna come to us and try and siege us, which is interesting. Um, where are they? Yeah, they're here. So if we go here, we can get stay. Let me fight you. Okay, they're, they're staying. Good, perfect. So uh, we won't have any disadvantage here. We're not crossing in a river like we did last time. We are just coming straight at them on the field of battle. We've both only got one flank. I am a decent military leader. And uh, we're just crushing them. We're crushing them. They're fleeing. We're killing the, the fleeing ones. Um, and now we're going to head up and we're going to siege their province. We'll take their province. That'll be quite quick and painless. I think she fancies me. Well, obviously I'm going to make a move. That's fine. Um, spymaster. Lost our spymaster. I think our wife should be our spymaster. It's good to be chief. Uh, let's make... Let's give our wife, like, a nice title, shall we? Let's make her... Can we make her our law speaker? Yeah, wife. Be my law speaker. Ah, oh, I got a puppy from, from, um... This, the, the, I don't know how to pronounce that. I got a puppy from her though, and I'm gonna call it Tricky. A tricky little puppy. Speaking of tricky, are we, we need to start joining the society of, oh, I'm not a sinner. Oh no, I need to live a life of sin. I haven't sinned, so I can't join it in this version of this universe. That's so sad. That is so sad. Oh well, we'll, we'll, we'll do some sins. I think I'm cheating on my wife. Is that not a sin? Like, I didn't even have to cheat on her. I could have just... You know what? You can be my concubine. And then it's not cheating. Then it's allowed. And she's pregnant immediately. No one will be suspicious of the fact she became pregnant the day we weren't already together. That's outrageous. Why would you suggest such a thing? Uh, we'll speed this up real fast, because sieges take forever. How's it going? Oh, Smithyard, why are you the way that you are? It's okay. I think um, we're probably not the immediate next target. Ah, oh, we have our market village. Perfect. So, good. We took that. That's These are ours now. Uh, stand down immediately. Another wall. Metal pad. How are you doing? 852. How am I doing? 604. Okay, we're not doing that. Hide mark. How are you doing? 400 and something. Good. Uh, so, it's going to cost us 100 prestige. Um, and everyone's gonna hate us. Hmm. How about over here? What about you? Can I go to war with you? I don't have a Cassus Belle. Who do I have Cassus Belle on? Anyone that's yellow. Uh, I don't want to go to war with Svithyod, so good plan, game. Okay, I think it's time... I need you to really make Svithyod love me. I need you to make them love me, okay? You're a good Chancellor, and... This, they don't like me, but if they like me, and if we become friends, then we might not go to war. <laughs> they, they, they might not crush me. They probably will crush me. Uh, I guess we're going to have to do this war against Hydemark. Everyone's going to hate us a bit, quite a bit for it, but I just really need it. I really need it. So we're going to do that. We're going to take our troops, and we're going to march on over there. Perfect. And then I think we're going to need to take a break after this, because um, we don't have... Oh, we got a puppy! I'm terrified. We're probably about to lose the game because of Svithjord, but at least I have a puppy. So we'll do this. We're river crossing, which might be a terrible plan, but I think we have enough troops that... Ooh. Okay, we're good. Um, cool, cool, cool. And run on over here. Siege this down. 
Okay, um, I'm slightly terrified. Ah, oh, stomp him again! Yes, this is why we don't have Shattered Retreat. I've had a son! Cool. I can't be bothered to name that son. There's a war on. I'm busy. I'm not even there. I'm off leading an army. Far away. Uh, rumours of traitors have eroded the morale. Good! Good! Yes, keep improving relations! He needs to not hate me. He needs to- we want to be best friends. Do you have- we should get a betrothal. I don't- I don't have children to betroth, but we should have a betrothal. Oh! I won. I won the wall. Take it. My things. My delicious things. Good. So, uh... We are in- this is a weird looking start, actually. This is not what I would have expected from- I did, did not expect this to go like this. This is very odd. Um, 861. 1,000 max. I've got 1,000 max. Okay, we're getting up there. We just need to keep aggressively conquering um, so that we get more stuff. 2,000! No! Why have you got event spawned? You don't need event spawn troops. Oh dear. Um... Okay, this is a really, yeah, this is a weird situation. Um, so, what, because we've recently conquered these, they have recently conquered new administration, which means we don't get as many troops from them as we will. Um, so, that should come in over time and we'll get more troops. For the moment, Metal Pad is larger than us, which is a little bit scary, a little bit scary. What I would like is to save up 500 prestige, because if I have 500 prestige, then I can do some, I can just summon, as we discussed before, I can just summon a tribal army and that, that would be amazing because they are so good. That would defend us from any invader if we can just, anytime we're about to get invaded we can just whip that out. Um, but I think it's better that I spend the prestige, because uh, it costs prestige to uh, keep expanding like this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's I have to spend prestige to keep expanding like I am, but I think it's so the the choice is do I save up so I've got that five hundred in the bank so that if anyone invades me I know I can fight them off, or do I continue to spend it so that I expand quickly and therefore have more troops to draw from just as a base, and I think I'm going to keep expanding. Um, it's possibly the bad move. This is a very difficult situation that we found ourselves. How many troops do you have again? I didn't even check. Four hundred. We're fine. How much money do I have? Two. Oh, maybe not enough. Maybe not enough money. Um, well, we're going for it. We've started now. Uh, so we're going to do this war. As long as we march quickly before we run out of money. Because uh, if we have to fight this with no money, we're going to be really actually struggling. It's okay. They're coming to meet us. They're coming to meet us. We just need to fight them. They're going to get a defense bonus. Don't run out of money. Don't run out of money. Don't run out of money. Cool. Okay. Phew. Uh, need to not run out of money while this battle is happening and then we should be good perfect so now we're just going to chase them back i don't even know where they're going yes we're chasing them uh we're improving relations yeah you don't want to invade me you want to invade vestigortland oh you are you are you are invading okay you are invading vestigortland that's terrifying maybe i should be saving up the 500 prestige <laughs> for the defense because this is terrifying spitchard is on the warpath Oh dear. Yeah, best friends. Best best friends. We might end up becoming a vassal of Svidjod. He might conquer us. But that's okay. The game won't end when we become a vassal of Svidjod. We'll just have to take our time. We'll have to consolidate our power. Ooh, and this is a nice province that we're getting. Okay, here we go. Here we go, Svidjod. Um, I'm going to try and finish this war with Normadal because I assume I'm going to lose to Svidjod. I'm just taking that as a little bit of a given. So what I'm going to do is finish besieging this, finish out this war, so I take as much land as possible before I get sieged down. Because I can't fight this. I I cannot fight this. We're just going to lower these troops. I have got, what, 200. I have 200 troops. Svidjod, Svidjod has 2,000. And uh, I don't have any... Can I make an alliance quickly? Quick, a cheeky quick alliance, anyone? Uh, Vestigortland is also about to go down, I believe. Defending against, uh, King Harold of Wartooth. Is that you? No, wait, who are you at war with? I think it's one of the vassals of Svidjod. 
Anyway, um, if we just grab as much land as possible before we become a vassal, I think we can make this work. Um, alternatively, if we can just drag this siege out for ages, maybe that'll go all right for us. Um, uh, I don't think this is going to go all right for us. I think... Uh, we're gonna be a vassal, but that's okay. We can do things. We can work from inside the realm um, We're just gonna yeah, we'll become a vassal But as long as I think this is yeah, this is full subjugation. So we're not gonna lose our land We'll just be oh, well, I'm gonna train my dog at least I'm gonna spend some time outside training my dog as they siege down my home um, So yeah I'm gonna make them work for it though I'm not- they're gonna have to siege all of my things. I am not gonna make this easy. I'm gonna make this long and expensive because I'm petty. You'll have to siege more than that to get me, Svithyod. Look, they're losing troops slowly as they siege my things. Um, yeah, actually, actually, I- sometimes this happens, you know? They've been on the warpath since the start of this game. They are aggressive. Maximum aggression from Svithyod here. <laughs> Um, but it's all right. We can just keep expanding as their vassal and then we'll claim our independence when the time is right. Honestly, I can probably do more damage as a vassal. So what happens when we surrender? I get subjugated. So that means I become their vassal, I believe. Um, let's go intrigue focus. I was going to go martial. However, I think intrigue might need to be the way our, our son goes. <laughs> keep sieging. Keep sieging. <laughs> I won't surrender. Um, so yeah, we'll become their vassal. And then we'll have to see what we can do about damaging them from the inside. What do they have in the way of children? Yes, yes, I lost. Okay. So this is us now. We still own the things we owned before, but we have got a liege. Yes. Um, yeah, I should be smart. smart. <laughs> Definitely make me spy master. So what are the succession laws? of um Svithyod. agnatic i see uh yeah you can become cool that's fine you want yeah you can we're going to be best friends okay we are now playing a very very different game to the game we were playing before i am commander but i'm also going to refuse to lead any armies <laughs> just as a cheeky little screw you um so our sons the, the trouble is we now cannot have vassals because we are ourselves accounts so we are going to lose titles on succession if i can join the fellowship of hell i might be able to murder my sons but this could be a little bit difficult a little bit i could just imprison and execute them we'll worry about it when we're older you know what we're only 42 one of them might get murdered or something we'll be fine now how many troops do we have 171 that's not great but our max is 1600 so i think what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to take some time, we're going to need to reevaluate, and we're going to need to make everyone our best friend. So our liege absolutely loves us. Improved relations, amazing. So because our liege loves us, we can probably get a betrothal between our delightful son and heir and this, uh, this um, daughter. No, he says no because of political concerns. What about this daughter? What if it's not my heir? What if it's just... Oh, no. Okay. Fine. Fine! Um, oh. <laughs> I've been challenged to home gang. Uh, single combat. Combat. I see. Uh, well, you have no combat skill. What do I have? I have one combat skill. Sure! Let's, let's roll the dice. <laughs> if, if I die here, this is gonna go very, very bad. My axe will carve you a new smile. Please. Yes, I killed my own vassal. Victory is mine. Oh, and I got scarred. That's a nice trait. <gasps> so much prestige. Yes. Okay, let's start a faction. And, ooh, so we've got independence faction. That's a fun faction. I'm going to join that. Yeah. Um, so when that fires, it would be nice if I was leading the faction, but when that gets enough power... Uh, all of the vassals will rise up together and try to claim independence. So that's quite good. I can use this favour that I have, perhaps, to force someone to join... Oh no, that's factions I lead. I kind of need my own independence faction. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to wait uh, because I have no troops at the moment. So we need to let them replenish. I need to bide my time. We'll get some money together. We'll upgrade our provinces a little bit. We'll get rid of this new administration thing. Uh, low tribal organization. What is the current tribal organization? You know what? That's fine. I'm fine with low tribal organization. Um, so. Oh, yeah, we just need to wait a bit. We just need to wait. We need to bide our time. I need to... Oh, dear. It's okay. We are a vassal. We are down, but we are not out. Our liege absolutely love us, loves us, which is good because it means he might not take our things. Um, I've lost my steward. But my marshal has instituted a massive... Uh, an initiated a massive recruitment drive. Okay. Uh... Huh. Ha, ha, ha. Well... What an interesting episode this has been. Svidjord is very, very aggressive. But now that we are a vassal, we're going to be facing a very different game. But possibly the kind of game that we can handle. I have been Civilian. This has been Crusader Kings 2. Next time, we switch from our warlike focus to a slower game. More based on intrigue than violence. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!